Thank you very much, and it's my pleasure to give the floor to our last to our last panelist, Tatiana Kucharova from the, in the Foundation Youth of Health, Lisa Jan. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honor for me to present my work, my own active work and mission, Beauty of Help, a foundation of years of experience helping disadvantaged seniors. I grew up in a very small town in eastern Bohemia, where, where I was surrounded by an extended family, including my grandparents and great-grandparents. They encouraged and supported me throughout my childhood, just like their grandparents and great-grandparents supported and encouraged them when they were young. My family survived the turmoil of the 20th century Eastern Europe, including two world wars, the Nazi occupation and the communist era. People and also my family survived by sticking together and helping each other. Then in 1989, the Velvet Revolution suddenly opened the new opportunities for us, Czechs and Slovaks, to speak our minds, travel the world and pursue our dreams. Something my grandparents or even my parents before could have just dreamed about. Myself, I'm a very fortunate person. I'm very grateful for my international modeling career, beginning acting career, and I'm very grateful to have been the first world come from the Eastern Europe at the very young age at the time, actually not that long time ago. <laughs> and I'm very grateful to be standing here before you in the United Nations today. I was also very lucky to have met many people who influenced my life in a very positive way, who formed me and influenced me. And I have learned and traveled at a very young age since my career began about many social and world issues and various needs of people. But there was one which really caught my heart the most and what Ignite passion about, especially when I saw it live in person, and that was need of help for all people. Naturally, because of my own family background and because of my own parents and grandparents, I have learned very much from them and I love them very much and I think all old people all over the world deserves that. There are many global issues, but aging and seniors are in every family all over the world. We all have family or older relatives or somebody older close to us. Togetherness of family and care of each other should be closer to all of us than anything else. I believe that seniors and aging population worldwide deserves more of our attention, both social and political attention, all over the world. As my country enjoys all the freedom and open possibilities, we must realize that our focus and on self-expression and self-realization and self-satisfaction can also lead to self-absorption taking up the time and resources we would otherwise devote it to others. This has taken a major toll on the cohesiveness of the extended family as children move very often far away to get better jobs and their children move farther still. At the same time, modern medicine is extending over lifespans and today many people in their 80s or 90s are relatively healthy, independent, active. They are helpful to their society. But even those people can feel lonely and they struggle in today's fast speeding world. They can feel unwanted and our society is quite indifferent to them. They feel not much interest and sometimes, unfortunately, not even from their own family. Who can they share their lives with? And who will we share our lives with? when we reach their age or even exceed it. So those were the, my questions and thoughts which really led me to be active on my own and to establish a charity, charitable non-profit organization to help elderly. As I also traveled around the world to build my career, I realized that my success was possible not just only because of the freedom of my country enjoyed, but most of all, thanks to my family, my own parents and grandparents, who made me who I am today. As I looked for a way to give back, I thought of many elderly people who are not taken care of all over the world, 
because their family members are far away or in the worst case, they are simply forgotten. I remember that our late president Václav Havel said, indifference toward others and indifference to the faith of the community are precisely what opened the door to evil. I decided to make a difference and help those people. So I started Beauty of Help organization in 2008. It was very one of the first foundations established to help senior citizens in the Czech Republic. When I started this project, I was simply shocked to discover that there were, for example, more foundations devoted to help animals than to support elderly. Nobody has done much before as a non-profit organization of young people to help seniors. Even quite people actually asked me why would I do that and support old people. That really gave, gave me even more power and made me really mad. So our goal of non-profit organization is simple, to prevent the institutionalization, oh my god, what a strange and inhuman sounding word it is anyway, uh, mm -hmm. and to explain it in a more uh, simple way, it means to keep seniors closer to their loved ones at their homes with professional care. My goal is to stand for them. I feel responsibility as a young person. An old, an old age is everyone's future, even we do not see it or even we don't want to see it. And I, I think that there is nothing to be really scared about or worried about. We just need to also promote it in a different way, in a much more positive way. And I think it is possible. And it is our responsibility. This is the responsibility of young generation. So I'm doing my best to influence by my work by my activities to influence young gen younger generation and society to stand for seniors and to understand their need for help to make a difference to help create more care and possibilities for them which also make them to live longer independent life i think this is absolutely necessary for our own future too and now i would like to show you some facts Please, let's play first video. Thank you. V České republice žije téměř 2,5 milionu seniorů nad 65 let. V následujících letech bude osob starších 65 let přibývat. Do roku 2050 se počet starších lidí nad 65 let více než zdvojnásobí. Počet lidí starších 85 let se dokonce zpětinásobí. V domovech seniorů je k dispozici 38 tisíc lůžek. V domovech se zvláštním režimem pro lidi trpící Alzheimerovou chorobou a jinou nemocí způsobenou dopady stárnutí je k dispozici 7 tisíc lůžek. Pečovatelská služba je dostupná pouze 100 tisícům seniorů. 9 z 10 seniorů umírá v nemocnicích, v léčebnách dlouhodobě nemocných, nebo v domovech seniorů. 9 z 10 by si přálo žít a dožít doma. Nula návštěv za rok. To je realita tisíců osamělých seniorů v České republice. Služby pro seniory by měly být dostupné, kvalitní. Měly by fungovat tak, aby umožnili seniorům žít plnohodnotný aktivní život v jejich přirozeném sociálním prostředí. Doma. Týká se to nás všech. A tak to pojďme společně změnit, aby mohli starší lidé žít důstojně ve svých domovech. A survey shows that although 9 of 10 seniors would like to continue living at home, 9 of 10 of them die in institutional care. There are a number of reasons for this. Families who have difficulty providing necessary care may reluctantly agree to institutionalization, feeling that this is the only possible solution. Seniors themselves may feel that they are a burden on their families and choose to enter a care facility. Information about home care options may be hard to find and service providers may lack the resources to advertise their existence. From over many years of experience, we know that seniors want to stay living at home.
with their families. Beauty of Help organization helps to provide the elderly with modern social services, including personal assistance, daycare and home care, but also volunteer activities, self-help groups and other programs that help seniors to stay active and integrated into the society. In over almost seven years of existence, we have distributed over a million dollars to hundreds of nonprofit projects geared towards enabling seniors to live safe, full, rewarding lives, connected to their families and to the world around them. We have not been supported by government yet, unfortunately. Gotta say. Um, we've already helped hundreds of thousands of people all across the country, but our experience also has uncovered some areas of needs that haven't been touched yet. So that's why we've launched a unique new project, Beauty of Help Contact Points. This file work project, whose pilot program opened just last year in one of the biggest hospitals in the Czech Republic is designed to follow up on the activities of the hospital's social services department, providing, the, providing extend, extended service to the patient clients after they leave the hospital, helping them to readjust to everyday life in their homes and giving them the personal individual care that they need to remain there for as long as possible. We are currently in progress to expanding the project, include more of the largest hospitals all, all, of, all, all over the country. Another focus of Beauty of Help organization is to promote awareness of loneliness and lack of interest, which is the worst and the biggest problems, uh, one of the biggest problems which seniors face. In my public appearances, I make personal effort to influence and motivate younger people to, to connect with seniors. And we also run a very unique multidimensional campaign across public and social media to remind people of the importance of maintaining contact with their older relatives or loved ones. And I would like to show you that. Thank you. Let's raise a glass to you to your freedom to take life for granted. So you can wake up in the morning and do it all again. And raise your glass for those who have nothing left to raise a glass to and have no one left to raise a glass with. In conclusion, let me say that Beauty of Help organization is a dream which I have pursued as avidly as I have pursued my career. It is deeply gratifying to see it coming true. And it is an extraordinary honor and privilege for me to present you here in the United Nations, my charity and my mission, organization created to defend human rights, to promote the rule of law and to secure freedom and dignity to, for, to all people regardless of race or age. It is my goal to ensure that people, not only in my country, not just only in my country, but all over the world, should realize that age must never engender disrespect, disdain, indifference, or neglect. The most effective means towards this end is for our seniors to be surrounded by their families as long as possible with help and help. Sadly, many people do not realize how important this is until they reach their age or until they lose somebody lost one. Let's help each other change this. This is my goal and goal of Beauty of Help organization, which I'm very proud to, pre to represent here. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me end with words of my hero, Václav Havel. Hope is a state of mind which give us meaning to our lives. Thank you again for your attention and thank you to this opportunity to address you here today. Thank you.
Z dnešní konference mám velmi, velmi velkou radost, protože byla úžasná účast. Mohli jsme šérovat spoustu názorů na stárnutí a podle statistik vidíme, že je to opravdu velmi aktuální celosvětové téma a mě bylo obrovskou ctí tedy prezentovat moji vlastní aktivní misi a aktivity v rámci nadace Krása pomoci, kterou jsem spolu založila v České republice a je mi velkou ctí vůbec se téma stárnutí prezentovat na půdě OSN. Dnešní akce a debata tady v OSN byla velmi důležitá nejenom pro Českou republiku, ale koná se zároveň při příležitosti zasedání Komise pro sociální rozvoj. A bylo to vlastně poprvé, kdy Česká republika se takto velmi aktivně zúčastnila a prezentovala aktivní stárnutí v České republice, jakým způsobem Česká ministerstva, ale i nevládní organizace přistupují k této otázce, jakým způsobem se staráme o naše staré lidi v České republice, jakou péči jim poskytujeme, ale také, jakým způsobem si je snažíme zpátky začlenit do společnosti a jak se zejména mladí lidé o ně snaží starat. Přesah měla tato akce samozřejmě z toho důvodu, že jsme přizvali americkou lékařku, která pracuje pro indickou nevládní organizaci a ta poskytla zase pohled na tyto otázky z, ze strany Indie, čili rozvojového státu, který řeší podobné problémy, ale trošičku jiným způsobem a přidala také své zkušenosti ze Spojených států amerických. Pro nás bylo velmi důležité, že se té debaty zúčastnila nejenom státní zpráva, čili Ministerstvo práce a sociálních věcí, ale také zástupci Prahy 1, kteří na zcela konkrétních příkladech ukázali, co oni dělají a jakým způsobem se o staré lidi na Praze 1 starají. No a velkým přínosem samozřejmě bylo i představení nevládní organizace Tatiany Kuchařové, protože to je něco, s čím se v České republice ne tak často potkáváme. Není mnoho nevládních organizací, které by se těmito tématy zabývaly. Tak dobrý den, já se jmenuji Petr Smejkal, jsem primářem infekční kliniky Ústřední vojenské nemocnice. A mám tu čest být také ve správní radace nadaci, nadace Krása pomoci a pomáhat té nadaci v, v její práci, která si myslím, že je v podstatě unikátní v tom, že se zaměřuje na problematiku starých lidí. A nyní velký úspěch. Jsme v OSN, v budově OSN, kde Krása pomoci je v podstatě Myslím si na této konferenci o, o stárnutí a problémem stárnutí jediná, velká, z České republiky rozhodně jediná, nevládní um, um, nadace, nevládní organizace, která um, díky Tatiane Kuchařové tady prezentuje svůj program. A myslím, že to má velký úspěch. Um, ty panelisté měli spoustu dotazů. Je vidět, že Česká republika nejenom na té vládní úrovni, ale i na úrovni um, NGO nebo nadací, kterou vede Tatiana, dělají spoustu věcí pro, pro seniory. Z mého pohledu jako lékaře je to také důležité v tom, že u nás je vždycky problém s pacientem starším, buď tedy jde do domova důchodců a trvá to strašně dlouho, než dostane místo, anebo vůbec kolikrát řešíme ten problém, co s ním bude, až opustí nemocnici. A v tomhle nadat se dělá strašně důležitou práci, protože se snaží zajistit těm starým lidem nějakou péči, ať už lékařskou, sociální a nejlépe všechno dohromady, která je těm seniorům poskytována doma, a ne v nemocnici, a ne v domově důchodců, ale doma. A to samozřejmě je něco, co vyžaduje koordinaci všech různých organizací. Jsou tady zástupci z ministerstva, rodiny především a dobrovolníků. A tohle chce ta nadace jakýmsi způsobem koordinovat. Být, být jakýmsi tím case managerem, když to řeknu v těch termínech amerických, být jakýmsi case managerem péče o seniory po zdravotní stránce a sociální a dávat dohromady všechny aspekty té péče, kterou ty staří lidé potřebují. A ta prezentace Tatiany tady se tohohle týkala a myslím, že měla velký úspěch a doufejme, že v České republice bude těch projektů mít čím dál tím víc. Já jsem tady za vojenskou nemocnici, kde se podařilo otevřít kontaktní místo, 
díky naší, našemu managementu vojenské nemocnice a díky nadaci a doufejme, že těch nemocnic bude víc. Bude Motol snad, bude Ostrava a chceme to rozjet teda v celé republice, protože to je něco, co chybí. Na staré lidi se prostě nemyslí, všichni mají spoustu úspěchů, všichni mladí v zahraničí a žijí v zahraničí a, a, a kolikrát v této době, která nám otevírá spoustu možností, právě na ty staré lidi zapomínáme a to nadace chce. A já moc děkuji Tatianě, že tady vůbec tenhle ten projekt prezentovala a mělo to velký úspěch. Děkuji vám.